G'day. In today's video, I've got a HP Stream 14 with the model number 14CB003TX. In this one, I'm curious whether or not the RAM can be upgraded in it. It is an extremely slow, extremely painful machine. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to wake it up out of standby just because I just closed the lid. You can see that the screen's on, but it's still not awake. Should still have a power light somewhere here, which I do. I press power, I'm still getting nothing. Anyway, what I want to talk about here is I want to see if changing it from 4 gig of RAM to 8 gig of RAM will make any difference. How do I suspect it? Well, I'm just going to skip the video ahead and I'll show you. Well, why do I suspect it can handle a RAM upgrade? I'll point that out and then I'll open it up to find out. So my reasons of thinking, thinking that it can be upgraded, if I go control alt delete and bring up ta task manager and then go into memory, I see we have here, we have one slot of one used followed by form factor, sodium. Sodium is removable memory. Right now it's already using 2.2 uh, and process is the biggest limitation there. But I've got a spare 8 gig stick floating around, so I want to put that in there. So to begin with, we're going to want to power off the machine. Assumably this will be using possibly DDR3L or DDR4. We're about to find out for sure. Off there. I'm just going to wait for this power light here to go off. Or I might just get impatient and disconnect the battery when I'm in there. There is nothing smooth about this stream at all. There we go, the light is off. Now we're good to proceed. Sadly, I really don't reckon there's going to be any improvement whatsoever in performance upgrading the RAM on this machine. I'm purely wanting this, well, I've got it floating around, so I can do it, I'm going to do it, and then probably regret doing it because it's really not going to change a thing. The processor I find is just too slow to really even think, even with that extra RAM. So with those two covers off, four screws along here, four screws along here. Also, I don't believe the storage is going to be upgradable. It may surprise me, but I don't think it will. Um, I have very little f hope or faith for the HP Stream series. Those disconnected, I should be able to grab a corner here, bend it up slightly, like so, and continue working my way around. So there we go. We are in. We have one battery here, which is barely ticking over. So the battery life of this will be last really well because you're not going to be able to do anything. Sadly, they've gimped this model and not actually put a NVMe connector over here. We do have Wi-Fi that would potentially be upgradable, but there's really not much point. But here is what I've come for, which is the RAM, which that pulls out. We have a sticker over the top. If I get a pair of tweezers, we'll be able to reveal what it is. Yeah, there we go. We are DDR4R1R by 8 PCI3L. So this is low, the L is usually low voltage. So it's designed to use bugger all power, which it certainly does a good job of that. So I'll have a look and see what I've got in the way of replacement. I know I had DDR4. I don't know if I have much DDR3. Now I've got an 8 gig PC3L, but it's 2 8 or 2R by 8. I'm not sure how compatible that's going to be, but I'm going to put it in and see how it goes anyway. What I can do, is, well, to, lock, to reinstall the RAM, you've got to line this up with this here. There to there. And then stick it in on a slight angle and pull down. Slight angle, push down. Then I'm going to reconnect the battery. From here, before even putting the bottom cover back on, I'm just going to open it up and hit the power button. 
Go here. Power button. I have a power LED going over here. We'll just wait and see if it boots up. If not, I'll just change the RAM to another stick. Yeah, it did seem to actually start up a little bit quicker. I wouldn't say a huge amount. We go here. We got 8 gig. And currently available is 6.2, so it is utilizing the whole amount. I did see that there is potentially a BIOS update available. So if I go into the BIOS on this machine, it will let me. It's not exactly the fastest one out there. Well, actually, it's more accurately about the slowest one out there. Um, and I'll see if there's a BIOS update for it. Really, the BIOS update's not going to change much. May make it a bit more compatible with Windows 11, which I did see on the HP website. But this particular model does support Windows 11, which would make the a slow machine even slower again. Because the dilemma with this is it's just the processor does not have the power. I'm not sure if I'm emphasizing that enough in this video, but being that this machine is so underpowered, doesn't even have a fan on there, that's barely warm to the touch. My heat pad underneath, this blue heat pad here, heats up to 70 degrees and that will cook my hand. This is barely even warming it up. And it's probably about 10 degrees Celsius today. So I'll go F10 and have a look here. We should have a BIOS version. We have BIOS F45. And I'm seeing there's two different BIOS versions that do not match this one at all. There's BIOS F27 and F64. Either of which is not this machine, so I'm going to double check that. Huh, it's actually got a different product number. HP Stream 14 AX. It says AX. Yet on the bottom here, I have CB. So yeah, quality naming by uh, HP there. Anyway, that's enough for regarding the BIOS update and whatnot. This will support the 8 gig of RAM, which I've changed it to. We have a Celeron N3060, so it very well may not support Windows 11. I'm not too sure on that particular model of Celeron. But either way, I hope this helps. All we really have to do from now is close the lid, put the bottom cover back on, put the port side on first. Let's just put that over here and kind of drag it back, and that should click over the connectors or the various I.O. that's over there. And that should click around. There we go. Put these screws back in. And from there, the cover's back over the top. And you should be right to go. That should sit in the groove, push down, slide across, like so. This one should basically do the same over here as well. It's a bit of a double sided tape going dodgy. You can replace that and put fresh stuff if you like. Done. Hope that helps. See you later. Bye.